Now this Airbus A340 is in massive trouble. Power trouble. I mean, it always is. It's a very weak aircraft. I mean, after all, the Airbus A340-300 is powered by the CFM engines, the same ones that the A320 has. Not necessarily powerful at all. In fact, this is the only long-haul aircraft we can truly even stand below the engines. Not powerful at all. And this becomes a problem when you lose one of those. Oh no, engine fire, engine trouble. This is really never fun when you have this. And it does happen sometimes, but we have to shut down an engine even last month in November. I Meaning it even had to descend to 2,000 feet to be able to properly fly at all. But I think losing one engine is not enough. How about losing two, ladies and gentlemen? Oh no, what if you are stuck here on the Corfu Island Airport? And in order to repair this airplane, you need to transfer it all the way to Athens here in Greece. <sighs> Um, but maybe unlike a normal transfer flight, you still carry passengers. Look at this guy. He doesn't look extremely light at all. We are fully booking out this airplane. This is definitely a great idea. But no, I don't want to wait for two new CFM 56 engines to come. So let's go ahead and fly the airplane either way. Turn on the batteries as always. This is after all just a normal Airbus. Yep, it's turning on right now. Mmm, look at those old CRT screens booting up just like an old TV. This is not a very modern aircraft, but still, everything works, except of uh, two engines. <laughs> now, this airplane is aligning right now. It's finding its place, so it's time to listen into it you know, the ATIS, the weather information. Of course, as always, I'm going to use the most essential item on any flight simulator, and that is Say Intentions, the sponsor of the channel. Check him out and try for free in the video description right now. To experience proper ATC simulations everywhere around the world, let's go ahead and listen into ATIS indeed, 126 decimal 355. Mm-hmm, there we go. We have to turn on the radio, and now we should be able to hear something. Uh, no, how do I... Uh, ah, there we go. Sky conditions. Q at 2,000 feet. Perfect. Scattered at 4,000 feet. QNH 1020. 1020. Transition level Perfect. 60. Transition Localizer level may be unreliable. Yep. You have information, Quebec. Quebec. That is Again, perfect. Is that is all Airport. what we need. And it's now time to tune into Karakia Karound. 121.705. Perfect. This is the one. Now, the problem is that what we're doing is not necessarily mm, legal. Anyway, we should probably not tell the ATC. Or maybe we could. Karakia Ground. Good day. Air France 001 with information Quebec. On the ramp, Airbus A340-300, uh, request IFR clearance to Athens. For your information, we are flying on two engines at transfer flight. I think uh, maybe we should let them know that if we crash, they know why. Stand by, you're number one. Okay, we've got a Greek man telling us to stand by. We can expect the very interesting Mali 1 Victor departure. Air France 001, clear to Athens via okay. the Mail 1 Victor departure, departure runway 34. Initial climb to yes. 4000. Departure on 118.08 squawk 5363. 5363. That guy was like Eminem. F plus 001 cleared Athens, Mali 1, Victor departure runway 3 4. Um, initial climb 4000, 118.08 departure and squawk 5363. Perfect. We have done the readback. Okay, perfect. This is all going to plan. <clears throat> Talking about plan, let's go ahead and enter our flight plan. We can just request that from the internet. Yes, there we go. That's already perfect. It's got everything set up. The cruise level. Let's see if we can reach 23,000 feet. I doubt that. Our departure, of course. Runway tree 4. Malay 1, Victor. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, we should be setting up V-speeds now. But the problem is that here in the takeoff performance, I could, you know, calculate those speeds at which we take off. But it's a useless number because we can't just say, hey, um... We're going to be flying with two engines. <laughs> Darabas doesn't really know of that scenario because it's stupid. Anyway, let's do that for uh, the sake of being correct. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Set up the trim right here. Very, very good. Now, good thing is, boarding is completed. All of our 279... S <laughs> All of our 279 souls on board have been boarded. And they're going to... Um, I hope they are good Christians. It's time to prepare for pushback and departure. So we're going to get rid of everything. Close all them doors and get ready for some flights and fun. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. 
We've got a very Greek voice, and it's this man right here who's saying we're ready for pushback. Very good. Now we're at stand nine, and let's go ahead and say, um, Korea Ground at France 001, we are ready for pushback on stand nine. Nur. Air France 001, pushback approved. Face south. Push and start approved, uh, faced south, uh, France 001. Okay, perfect. Let's remove everything, remove the chalk, then it's time to go. Let's turn on the APU bleed, and so we are super ready. Now, just a side that the inner engines are broken, I want a little bit of a quieter experience for the passengers. This will be the quietest airplane in the world. Release parking brakes, please. Okay, release parking brake. Park brake release. All legends clear. Okay, there we go. It's time to turn on the engines. And we can turn on two at the same time. The APU is able to handle. I mean, they're very small. It's no problem. But that is literally the only engine step we'll get. And I'm actually, I have no idea whether we're going to be able to fly. Especially off a runway that's not miles long. Hello, Jet 2. That's just a parting. Yeah, you're happy. You need only half the runway. We're going to definitely need more. This is actually the AI traffic of Sane Intentions AI. Look how nice it looks. All right. So, left turn right here. Our engine engines are on, well, or two, and we can't really hear them. <clears throat> I think in this case, I would just saw the two engines off that are broken because the drag that they produce is actually phenomenal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Our engines are ready. Everything is good. We've got the master caution lights on. Let's uh, delete them. I like playing around with master caution lights, especially the ones from the Swiss Zero One store. They're from the 737, though. Okay, park and break. Let's go ahead and uh, push. Push forward with our own engines. Let's go. Karika ground, uh, France 001, ready for taxi. Air France 001, runway 34, taxi via Alpha, Alpha 1. Taxi uh, Alpha 1, runway 34 via Alpha, uh, France 001. Perfect. This guy seems to be floating. Let's go. Oh, we need kind of full power to even just push. Okay, looking good. Come on, come on. Give me a little bit of power. Okay, we need a little, quite a little bit of power to even move forward. Oh my god, look at the warnings here. I might as well put out the flaps right here. Okay, that's not a nice sound. We've got problems with the hydraulic systems as well. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the APU running, because otherwise we might have huge trouble. Hello, 737. Here is the holding point Alpha 1. As instructed, we definitely need quite a little bit of power to even move at all. Oh, come on. You, may, you, want, to, you want to make this a race now, 737? All right. I mean, we have the same engines. <laughs> and actually the same amount of power. Uh-oh. All right, 737. You go, then. It's your turn. Anyway, all is fun. Nothing is fun. We need, oh, come on. Move. Move. I need more power. Let's change frequency uh, to the tower now. Carry a uh, tower. Good day. F1001, holding point Alpha 1, runway 34. Uh, ready for departure and backtrack, of course. Runway 34. Okay. F1001 heavy. Carry a tower. Runway 34. Backtrack approved. Hold short. 73 max on the runway. Holding short runway uh, 34. Uh, F1001. So it knows about the 737. That's extremely cool. There's a brave little 737 just um, backing track, tracking back on this pixelated runway. Faster, come on. What are you doing using every single inch of the runway? You've got a very powerful airplane. Go, 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 737. Yes, there we go. What a nice take off. Beautiful. That's a bit of a flat take off, but it works. Perfect. Airplane 001 heavy, oh. runway 34. Winds calm, cleared for takeoff. Play for takeoff on my tree four, F1001. We need a lot of power to even move. All right, let's go and warm up the engines a little bit. Okay, all good. And uh, tower F France 001, we are flying with only two engines. So if we crash into Carica Town, this is the reason why. Air France 001, Roger. Air France 001, simulated emergencies are approved. Proceed with caution. It's not a simulated emergency, sir, but okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, we're able to taxi. That's a start. And the good thing is that we don't require much fuel at all. 7% is plenty. All right, so let's turn around right now. I would like to use every single inch of the runway by using reverse thrust to the max. Um, it's just that the reverse thrust is not powerful enough at all to even propel the airplane backwards. Uh-oh. Well, we can use the wonderful snoo mode. I, I literally, I really want every single inch of the runway. I hope that's understandable. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go full power on the two little tiny poor engines. And actually, because we have an actual engine failure, according to the airplane, 
shut up, we are not allowed to take off, but it should be able to give in more power than even usual. The system allows us to give the maximum. Let's go ahead and use the map. We're using the map. We're using the max. That's for sure. Hey, look, we're gaining speed. It's just not a lot. Master caution. Shut up. It's all good. Yes, there we go. Airspeed is alive. Take a power set. Uh, we've got 80 knots. Now, the A340 that's struggling to take off with four engines will now very much struggle to take off with two. Okay, we're now at 110 knots. Hey, we at some point we should be able to take off. Maybe we want some more flaps. Let's put the flaps down to half. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes! The A340 has taken off. Well, barely. Hey, we can put the landing gear up. Look at this. Positive climb, and it's now time to turn on the autopilot. I hope it allows us to do... Yes, even the autopilot works in this state. Let's uh, put the flaps to... One. It's a bit scary, because we're at 140 knots. Now, we have to do a very tight right turn, as per departure clearance. Look at this! We're climbing at a rate of six... Nothing, actually. We're not climbing. This will be one of the most painful flights that you've ever seen. Yes! We've got low pressure in the brakes. We've got literally low pressure everywhere. We've got a land ASAP alert. This airplane's just screaming at us, but it's actually doing all right. It's now climbing at 1,500 feet per minute. Uh, it's better than nothing. Airfront 001, contact departure on 118.08. Contact departure 118.08, Air France 001, bye-bye. Athens departure, good day. <laughs> Air France 001, 3,000 feet, climbing to 4,000 feet. Mm, we're at 150 knots now. Air France 001 heavy, Kerkira departure, identified. Climb via the SID. Climb via SID, Air France 001. Ladies and gentlemen, the weakest plane in the world uh, literally used pretty much all runway. I'm just a little bit too scared to at all even retract the flaps. We're at 150 knots and I'm waiting to level off at 4,000 feet. And so now we can actually, we are increasing speed. We can put the flaps up, ladies and gentlemen. And so we have a little bit of less drag. This is perfect. Okay, now as per chart, we're supposed to be above 7,000 feet. By the time we reach this waypoint, we've got plenty of time. This plane Actually, it does fly, just not very well. Okay, we're losing speed here. Um, Climb flight level 230. Climb flight level 230, F-Hunster 01. I wonder how long that takes. I mean, we're climbing at 1,300 feet per minute. There is turboprops that are a lot more powerful than that. What happens if in this case we have a high altitude bird strike? Do we, is this as realistic? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell just happened? Oh, no, we lost. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've also lost our fourth engine. Actually, that I really didn't actually want to do that. So we are in massive trouble. Hey, Athens Control, um, a France 001, uh, flight level 110. We just had a bird strike now. Um, we will try to still climb to flight level 230 and continue our flight. Good! All right, we definitely need full power on the engine here. Okay, all right, let's see. Maybe we can recycle the engine number four and turn it back on. Now, one big problem is that because only one engine is running, the Reimer turbine has also deployed because it doesn't really work very well. We can actually hear that. The only thing that's running is the CFM-56 right here and the Reimer turbine. This is the weakest plane in the world, and we're not really able to climb at all anymore. This flight normally is only 45 minutes long. Definitely gonna be longer than that. We're climbing now at a marvelous 200 feet per minute. Air France 001, please expedite your climb to flight level 230. Oh, uh, we will try to expedite to Air France 01, uh, but uh, mayday, 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 we are only running on one engine. Don't worry though, I'm the best pilot in the world. Mm. Air France 001, Roger Mayday. Advise intentions. Uh, request uh, altitude flight level 230. We are going to continue our flight to Athens as filed. Air France 001. Okay, we've now reached the point of no climb. This is the highest that we can go. 15,000 feet. Mm. Cruising fast at Mach 33.33. And F-01, we are unable to climb. Uh, request flight level 150. 
Descent flight level 150. All right, let's uh, let's stay at this altitude. This is exactly going as planned. Now there are literal cirruses that are faster than us. We are so, so slow. But as you can see, we're still in the air and everything is okay. Okay, I mean, this is survivable. I definitely wouldn't want to fly across the Atlantic now, especially at this low altitude, because turbulence and everything is going to be much bigger of a problem. Good thing is we can already descend. Athens approach, good day, France 001, flight level 150, request descend to 6,000 feet. Air France 001, descend altitude 6,000 feet. Descend 6,000 feet to France 001. Perfect, and now we can finally, like, speed up a little bit. All right, time to really roll this. Air France 001, expect the Pikachu Charlie arrival. I'll call your Pikachu. All right, let's go and cut this short a little bit. Um, request uh, direct to Waypoint Echo Golf November, Air France 001. Air France 001, direct Aegina approved. Climb altitude 4,000 feet. Oh my God, we're now really fast. Hold on, stop climbing so quickly. Hold up, we're now at 320... Wow, we are the fastest we've ever been, ladies and gentlemen, in this plane. We're legally fast. I, I guess that's fine. I mean, we can, you know, make up time a little bit. Air France 001, I need you below 250 knots. Oh, sh shut up. Zero it's zero fine. Zero Air France 001, uh, apologize. Uh, 250 knots. So. Okay. I mean, the autopilot isn't really working, nor the auto throttle. So uh, what I'm gonna do is manually cut the throttle. Roger, two five zero knots. Air France zero zero one. All looking good. The runway is right there. I'm already fast. Wow! Look at this. The performance of the A340. Why isn't it descending as I as I'm telling it to do? Come on. Okay, we can already put the approach mode on. Time one one eight decimal uh, six two five. Air France zero zero one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready. In fact, we're looking quite fast. We can put the landing gear down already. Venice Los Tower, good day, good day. France 001, uh, Eyeless X ray approach runway, tree two left, 10 miles. Wonderful. Look at this, the landing gear is coming down. Just as it's supposed to. And even the. Oh, look at this, is perfect. Hey, now we're coming in fast. Venice Los Tower, wind 020 at 14. Good, runway three but left. windy. Clear to land. Clear to land runway three left at France 001. This is looking perfect. The autopilot is flying our plane as we speak. Now, there's one minute problem, and that is that going around now absolutely is impossible. We could give in full power, but we would rare barely even notice that even while descending. Like, look, I'm giving in full power. Makes literally no difference. So we need to land. There's no way to, like, this is like our only shot. Get everything armed, get everything ready. Put the flaps down as well. Landing gear down. Look at this. All is looking absolutely fine. Now we can only hear the noise of the ATC and the propeller noise from the ram air turbine. Yes, look at this. Everything is set up. Let's go and uh, turn off the autopilot right now. Now, this airplane flies absolutely poorly. Let's see what would happen if we go full power now. Probably not much, really. Yep, there's this, uh... Speed, speed, speed. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Now the streamer speed is a fun guy. <laughs> let's land. Let's make it, make it, you know, let's make it smooth, you know? Maybe we can make it smooth. Okay, that was not smooth. That was a firm let. In fact, this is all completely hopeless. All right, all is well. We can even put the reverse thrust out. I bet the plane won't bother. It's not very strong reverse thrust, is it? Yeah, this went absolutely wonderfully. No problem at all. Plane is stopping. We've got some good pressure in the brakes. This is all completely fine. Contact ground on 121.755. 121.755 to one decimal seven five five F France zero zero one. Perfect. So we can now use our uh, left engine to uh, keep taxing. I get that. Um, maybe that's good. It does need a little bit of power. <laughs> come on. Uh, come on. Move. I can't steer anymore. Why can't I steer? Hello. There we go. Now I can. It's just very slow, very annoying taxi. I might as well just not do it at all. So what I'm gonna do now is say, hey. Uh, Athens Tower, we're so sorry. F France 001, please send emergency vehicles. We need to evacuate on the runway right now. Because otherwise, we will just not manage it. I mean, turning off that one engine that we have doesn't take long. It's just one engine. All right, let's go ahead and open all the doors right now, and we can uh, evacuate this. Yeah. All right. All right. Looking okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, flying the airplane uh, A340 on one engine is possible. It's just not very fun at all. Taking off definitely won't work. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. And good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.